Hi, today I'm going to show you how to repack the bearings on an old trailer. Not the usual type of bearings, these are needle bearings. So if you're redoing an old trailer, come and have a look at this. So before we get started, this is the final product. So this is the trailer we found uh, rusting in a neighbor's yard. He let me have it, so we've been uh, wire brushing it and repainting it. So we're now just ready to put the tires back onto the axle here. I've uh, cleaned up the, the axle really roughly just with some wire wool and a little bit of paint thinner. So we've got that clean. We're going to have to put in a, a washer at the other end and then uh, we're going to have to put in uh, some packing to stop the bearings from getting dirt and dust in amongst them. And I didn't have the uh, proper packing so I'm going to make one here out of just a piece of felt daughter loaned me some of her art supplies. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of felt, uh, cut it to approximately the right length for the proper diameter when we finish up. And we're just going to take the grease gun here and get some grease going here. And just going to take that. So just get the grease worked well into there. Take away a little bit more. Should have a nice pot of grease, but I couldn't find it. Try and keep your grease uh, clean. You don't want any dirt, dirt in there already. So you can see the felt is absorbing that grease quite nicely. Third time lucky. Be well mixed in. Parts of the felt. Felt doesn't look as nice as it did before, but it'll work. Now we're just going to wrap that around fairly tight. Have to be super tight, but uh, it's going to do the job of keeping out the dust. that. So now that's ready to go. We're going to put our first washer on and second washer right behind that. It's a little tighter, tighter fit. And then we have roller bearings here. Um, these are needle bearings that you can see that are kind of an unusual style. We're going to need to slide those in to our axle all greased up because on the other side there's a, a nipple for greasing the wheel and that's going to stop everything sliding through so we're going to have to do this in, in kind of reverse order first. So once again we're going to get some grease here, just uh, fill up the bearings here. I had only found one reference to this type of bearing on the internet that didn't show how to, how to do this, so I thought I'd make this little video. I don't know how many people it's going to help out, but it's one way of doing it. So now I'm going to slide that down into there and slide my homemade felt bearing or felt uh, backing into there. into the gap as best I can there. Its real job is to keep out the dust from the, the rest of the bearing so it doesn't have anything to do with keeping the wheel going really. So and I'm going to put in a, uh, another little Job. And now I've got another 
round washer. It's, uh, there you go. I'm just going to push this a bit of felt here to just keep this last washer in place there. Water pin here. Tap this uh, gently in place. Shouldn't need much. There we are. Oh, old grease there. We just have to tap this over now. Okay, I think we're done. And uh, this should run as good as new, or almost anyway. We'll put, pump a little more grease into there and run it around wherever we need it. There you are, some old style long needle bearings repacked. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe.